Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is Fantasy Booking Week Number 11 from the 28th of June to the 4th of July. Guys, go down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this Fantasy Booking series that I'm doing. Obviously, this is like the 11th video that we're on. I'm having a blast doing it, so let me know what you think about it. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and this beautiful notification bell. And then go share this video wherever you can. Find somebody with a YouTube channel, people in the street. Say if you got a, go subscribe to Nonstop Wrestling on Chat. Anybody, just get them to come and subscribe. We want to hit that 200 mark as soon as possible. So, we always start with Raw, then we have Thunder, NXT, and SmackDown. So, Raw, first of all, we M- MVP in the back with Lashley. Lashley's in a cast, slimmed up cast, because. He can't commute tonight against CM Punk, who returned last week. So Stephanie Mann says, but somebody who's has to compete against CM Punk in the main event, that's what happened and was signed last week. So you'll have to do it on behalf of Lashley, MVP. MVP goes mad, Lashley's gone mad as well. They're ready to attack Stephanie, but Triple H walks in, says it's not going to happen today, guys, and tells them to leave. MVP and Lashley walk off as they're kind of cursing back at Stephanie for booting that main event. We then get Kofi in the ring, who got attacked by Woods last week. So Kofi's in the ring saying, why did he do this, blah, 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 and he calls out Woods. He wants to come to the ring and he wants to find out what happened, because our friends are still friends. Woods comes out, Kofi's asking him why, and Woods doesn't answer him. Woods kind of looks at him with a kind of sadistic smile and beats the shit out of him. Just <laughs> beats, the, beats the piss out of him. Security come, push them back. Stephanie McMahon tells Kofi, tells Woods to leave the arena, um, she kicks him out with security um, and tells Kofi to get a medical attention in the back. So he's kind of take, take Kofi there. So then we head to the Money in the Bank qualifier. So tonight we have, we'll find, find out the Raw Money in the Bank men's qualifier. Then we find out the three Raw women's participants for the overall women's qualifier. So there's only one um, women's Money in the Bank match and eventually it's going to be like that for... Um, the men's so first of all you get Eli versus Kendrick Alexander first Money in the Bank qualifier match Alexander gets a win again another one Woods versus Barn Corbin Barn Corbin gets a win because Barn Corbin is going to be doing the easy lone wolf thing it's the first time he's came out with foot cult being King Corbin he's moving away from that going back to his lone wolf character and he's going to start be progressing that way he's going to stay that mid upper mid upper mid card level never going to be a WWE champion yet maybe in two or three years if I'm still doing this at this point <laughs> but uh, at the minute he's not going to be at that championship level Kofi and Woods are kind of oh, that's what it was sorry so Kofi gets Woods gets bet because Kofi comes out and then Stephanie tells Woods to go home at this point not the last point sorry then we get Money in the Bank qualifier, Sheamus versus Rich Boggs. Uh, Sheamus gets a win. So the Raw men's one is John Morrison, Keith Lee, Sami Zayn, Kendrick Alexander, Baron Corbin and Sheamus. The women's, the three that we're going to get from there. So these are the next three matches are the women's qualifiers. Camilla versus Dana Brooke. Camilla gets a win. Asuka versus Charlotte Flair. Flair gets a win. Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Banks gets a win. Then the main event, CM Punk versus MVP. MVP gets a win over CM Punk because Bobby Lashley runs in with his cast, bang, smacks CM Punk in the head with it because it was just a, a gimmick cast. CM Punk is he's rolled out, the, he's holding his head, he's rolled out, he picks up a chair from underneath the ring, comes in, whacks MVP with it, goes to whack uh, Bobby Lashley with it. Bobby Lashley goes underneath, hits him, gets him up, power bomb, bam, there we go. Those Lashley and MVP run out, the Lashley's helping them back, but then Stephanie Mann's made hints says this isn't fair, you lied, you've counterfeited the doctor's notes. So next week it is going to be Bobby Lashley versus CM Punk and MVP is banned from the ring signed. Otherwise, Bobby Lashley will lose the WWE Championship. The two of them are going raging. Lashley grabs Stephanie McMahon, Triple H's music hits, he comes out, MVP Runs up to him, he gets hit by a sledgehammer. CM Punk goes up and gets um, Bobby Lashley. Hits a move to him. Don't know what it would be, but they would let them decide that, obviously. Um, hits a move to him. Then 
those two guys kind of head to the back, no through the, the back door, they go out the wee little side bit, but uh, so CM Punk's turn up, come here, like don't, don't run away like pussies, blah blah blah, he turns around and Triple H has his hands out to be shooting, CM Punk just laughs in his face and says fuck you too, I don't like these guys, but I don't like you anymore than them, and he walks off, so that's building up maybe like something coming in the future between them, like a CM Punk getting redemption for Triple H, like real life people saying that Triple H hates CM Punk, so that kind of, we're bringing in a real life story into the wrestling thing, so it gets people like, oh, what's happening here? Um, end of show. So, Thunder, we get Rude versus Parker, Rude gets the win, Gyro versus Mysterio, Gyro gets the win, Gyro and Rude are having a little stare down, Hardy comes out with the Thunder Pro Championships, he comes out with the belt. He says, next week there's going to be a 15 minute Ironman match between you two guys. Remember, Thunder is only an hour show. So there's going to be a 15 minute champion, a 15 minute Ironman match. Whoever wins gets the belt. And Thunder, I want to keep it this, like, even if it is Extreme Rules or Hardcore matches or Ladder matches, whatever, it's going to be wrestling for wrestling fans. Do you know what I mean? Like, So you're going to have good wrestling there. And that's kind of what I started building up there. And we will have people drop in. Like we'll have, I've got Robert Rudd dropping in just now. We might have, you know, people from NXT. Maybe Campbell will drop in and stuff like that as well. But that's the end of the show there. NXT, we kick off with Dakota Kai versus India Hartwell. Kai gets the win. So Gonzalez comes out. Yeah, she goes to attack Kai, but she stops herself. So she's just ready to go, but she stops herself. She grabs India Hartwell up. She just get bang and put these big heavy moves. India's burst open a little bit. She's like trying to get herself and then to do like a big move like any steps or something. The guy says you've got to the, the end of tonight to revoke your number one contender match shot that you won. Then we'll still be friends. If not, I'm going to do worse to you than what I've done to you. Hartwell tonight, next week in a hardcore match. Kyle O'Reilly versus Pete Dunne. O'Reilly gets a win. North American title. Bronson Reed versus Isaiah Swerve Scott. Reed gets the win because I don't want Reed to go to the main roster yet. <laughs> then we've got that big main event that was booked last week. So AJ Styles was the number one contender for NXT because he came down to prove that he's the best. Orton and AJ are having a feud. So William Regal booked a tag match, so Camper versus Gargano versus so Camper and Gargano tag match versus AJ and Autumn. DQ, all four men are beating the shit out of each other. Gargano's put Camper through a table, Autumn hits AJ with a RKO and they're all just brawling. William Regal comes out and he's shouting stop, stop, the guys kinda of stop, they're like oh, Camper's holding his ribs, Autumn's holding his head, stuff like that. And he goes, If you guys can't this match was set to see if AJ will be able to challenge for the belt. But clearly you just can't work together. So next week, we're going to have Camper versus AJ versus Gargano versus Orton for the NXT Championship. And if Camper or Gargano win, AJ and Orton have to leave and they can't come back. If AJ and Orton win... Camper and Gargano will have to go look for another promotion to work at. The reason I'm doing this is what I really want to do is kind of build up that brand loyalty. Now I'm starting to lay the seeds for the brand loyalty is because what I'm going to be doing is when it comes to, obviously I've had my draft pick already, when it comes to SummerSlam I'm going to get NXT involved in it. I want to have NXT, Raw and SmackDown. I will do a traditional Survivor Series match at Survivor Series, no SummerSlam, Survivor Series, sorry. I'll do a traditional Survivor Series match, but there will be something different. So I kind of want to do NXT versus Raw versus SmackDown, like that whole thing, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, end of show there. SmackDown, we've got the Women's Money in the Bank is announced, which is Io versus Baszler versus... Liv Morgan versus Banks versus Flair versus Camilla. Then we get the men's SmackDown Money in the Bank qualifier starting. So we get so we, Money in the Bank qualifier. We get Seth Rollins versus Chad Gable. Seth gets a win. 
Nakamura versus Jackson Riker. Nakamura gets a win. Otis versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens gets a win. Dominic Mysterio versus Bray Wyatt, who returns. Um, Bray Wyatt gets a win. Uh, so the men's money in the bank for SmackDown is Adam Cole versus Big E versus Seth Rollins versus Nakamura versus Kevin Owens. Versus Bray Wyatt. Sorry guys, I don't even know why I didn't write that down. <laughs> um, so we've got Bray Wyatt. Cool. Then we see Paul Heyman talking to Shane, saying that it's no fair that Roman Reigns doesn't go up. He's, he's rematch against Cesaro. Cesaro got the win. Roman Reigns under fair circumstances, dealing with family matters and stuff like that without that being involved. Under fair circumstances, hasn't he got his rematch? So Shane says, you know what? We're looking for a match for Cesaro at Money in the Bank. We don't have a match lined up yet, so we're looking for it. And Roman Reigns says, that's great. What I'll do is I'll get in touch. Sorry, Paul Heyman says, that's great. What I'll do is I'll get in touch with The Rock. We'll cancel the steel cage match and we'll put... Uh, Cesaro against Roman Reigns even in a steel cage so Roman can get uh, get his belt back and um, Shane goes okay there's no need to belittle the WWE champion at the minute um, but that's not what I had in mind I thought we could do Cesaro versus The Rock versus Roman steel cage Cesaro's walking by and he hears and he walks in and he goes what the fuck what the why am I being brought into this, this family feud? What have I done? I'm the champion. I, and he was like, you know what? There is something that I... And Shane goes, if you want to be the best in the world, if you want to prove that you're the best champion in the world, being able to beat Roman Reigns for the second time and being able to beat The Rock would leave you in a great position. So, Cesaro ends up greening it. Heyman goes, Roman will agree, and uh, Shane says, I'll speak to The Rock. So, we're going to have a WWE Championship match, Cesaro versus Roman versus Rock at Money in the Bank. I'm going to do something cool with it, which I know you guys are going to enjoy. Um, but the main event that was booked last week for this SmackDown is Priest versus Rock. Uh, sorry, Priest and Rock versus Black and Roman. So, Damien Priest and Alistair Black are having a feud. The Rock and Roman are having their feud. The Rock gets on the mic first and says, just to let everybody know, Shane spoke to me. And of course I agree. I'm going to be coming out Money in the Bank with the WWE Championship. And the great one will once again be great within the WWE. Anyway, so Priest and The Rock get the win over Alistair Black and Roman. Throughout this whole time, Cesaro has walked out and he's just sitting at the top of the ramp on a chair, just watching. He's got the belt. Priest, the Rock gets, the Rock and Priest get the win. Priest gets the pin, but the Rock's got the win, so he's celebrating. He's got his hand up, and he's looking at Cesaro, and Cesaro's just kind of clapping. Roman Reigns is sitting at the side, kind of holding his head. And then, we end the show there. Now, the reason that having to put Ginger Mahal and Drew McIntyre in this show is a fun little segment. After the show, we're having social media just writing this down because I forgot to write social media we're having a social media little frenzy so on social media we see a video and it's CCTV footage from when Smackdown was on so just when it's finished so for instance it'll be a live right and it's Jinder and Drew fighting each other at a coffee shop it's a later night coffee shop or whatever time Smackdown's normally on they say it's like half ten and they're fighting Coffee's everywhere, there's muffins getting smashed in the face and stuff like that. And please come and they arrest both of them. Um, and they both get took away. And the live ends. So it gets people talking. It keeps that social media game in there, which is something very, very important. And something that's very missing from WWE at the minute. It's right there for them to do. But I think this would be a, such a cool little thing, especially with Drew and Jinder Mahal. We're going to have their feud... They're not going to face each other at Money in the Bank. As of yet, I don't know if I will book it. But as of yet, I'm not going to have them facing each other. What I might do is, because they've got arrested, they can't face each other at Money in the Bank. Or something like that. Like, something silly. Like, I don't know. I'll see what, what happens. But it's just to create buzz and stuff like that there. They're not really arrested, obviously. They'll be at like the next show, whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's been week 11. Obviously got my trusty book. I've... Starting, I'm starting the 5th of July to the 11th because obviously I'm hopefully going to be getting this up Monday. Again, guys, don't 
hod me to putting these up on a Monday. So what I want to do is, like I say, is change from, so this is going up today, Thursday, and I want to put them up every Monday now, but uh, don't hod me to it because I already have a different video that goes up on a Monday. So don't hod me to these ones being up then. Uh, the, they might be still Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just depending on the way things work out with work and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's been week 11. I love doing these fantasy booting things. So you let me know what you think about it as well. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for Impact Wrestling Review. See you later.